coaching staff as well. So it just makes it so much more special to have, you know, gone through some lows, gradually work your way up every year, learn some things, and um, it all come to fruition with a, with a championship trophy. <laughs> Next question over here on this aisle. A couple, um, couple of rows. No. Right here. I didn't see you over there. Right here, guys. Uh, Robert Littell, uh BSO. Uh, for this for Steph and Clay, can you talk a little bit of how Steve Kerr made you guys better players this year? Uh, well, Steve held us to a high standard. You know, he told us he was going to when we first met him at the USA camp. And um, he's been a great leader. I mean, the guy always keeps his composure. You know, he has an ma amazing mind for the game. And, uh, man, Steve, I'm just proud of him. And um, the way he's, you know, balanced everybody, you know, let us know what our roles are. He's just, he's been great for us. Him and the whole coaching staff. And, you know, we all deserve this together. We work so hard. I mean, same thing. He, he's uh, <clears throat> taken a, a solid foundation that we built over the last three years. Um, obviously, Coach Jackson had a huge part in our changing our identity, and he came in. Coach yeah. Kerr came in and um, was very humble about how you know he was going to approach his job because, like I said, he had a lot of talent to work with, a great coaching staff, but he had some ideas as well that he wanted to implement: ball movement, player movement, managing you know all the different personalities and you know situations, um, handling them so well made sure everybody was accountable like clay said and um every decision he made i think everybody bought into it <clears throat> whether you understood it or not you bought into it because he's a champion he's won five of these i think or something like that so um you gotta trust a guy that's been here before and uh his his view for our, our team jay standing on the right okay down to espn step what did you learn about the finals as you went through this series um, to block out the noise, that's the biggest thing because it's obviously just you and another team and all eyes are on, on, on you every single step you take. But it's all about winning. Um, you know, stats really don't matter. I mean, guys have, you know, great series and all that. And people take notice and um, take their place in his history with those stats and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's all about winning and what you can do to help your team get to that point. So, um, you know, I can speak volumes about, you know, the guy sitting next to me, you look at the stat line tonight, he had a lot of foul trouble and didn't really get going. But when he was in there, he was defending, he was playing physical, he was doing everything he could to help us win. And little things like that make this trophy possible. Um, and it takes, you know, every guy that steps on the floor. Um, so that's that's the biggest thing I learned. Stats, you know, and, and numbers and storylines, they're fun to kind of watch, and but you got to kind of block that out and just worry about winning. Mark in the middle. Mark Schwartz, ESPN, for both you guys. What did you learn about Andre Iguodala in this series, in this season, and how did he, as Draymond put it, save your season? Oh, man, he was, he was special, and obviously he deserved that you know, finals MVP for – the way he Im impacted the game on both ends and was always ready. Um, I don't think I learned anything new about him because I, I know that's who he is, and he's shown that all year and throughout his career. He just needed an opportunity and stage to, to show the world. And um, <clears throat> playing against a, a great talent, you know, on the other side that, you know, was was determined to try to help his team win, and, and Andre stepped up to that challenge every single night. And a huge reason why... You know, we're celebrating right now, so can't say enough about that guy. And <clears throat> for him to have gone through all the different things he's gone through in his career, to be able to help hold a championship trophy is another special. He's the ultimate professional. I mean, that guy works on his game every single day. He, you know, never complains. He's accepted his role like a true pro, and, man, he stepped up when he, we needed him most. I mean, I'm so proud of Andre. He deserves everything. He's coming his way, and... You know, he's still got a real bright future, and he, he's a great teammate as well, man. He deserves that trophy, and, man, he, he's a special talent. Brian in the back, and then Ann, last two questions. Uh, Brian Mone, Associated Press. Uh, going by the win-loss record, you guys go down with the list of the great teams in the NBA. 
uh, do you view yourselves that way? And uh, the way you guys played, people said for a long time, small ball jump shooting doesn't win titles. Uh, have you kind of changed the way people are going to build teams now? Well, I mean, we'll see. It's, uh, we found a recipe for success, and that's that's the most important thing for us. Um, now that we have this, you know, under our belt, I think we can actually appreciate what we were able to do this year from start to finish. Um, it's hard in the moment to really understand what 67 wins means in the grand scheme of the history of the NBA, how hard that is. Um, but then also to cap that off with a, a, a you know a championship playoff run. So we'll appreciate, I think, that whole you know journey a lot more now. Be able to reflect, and <clears throat> I, I think we are. We definitely. A, a great team and, and a team that should go down to history is one of the best teams from top to bottom. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, a lot of things to be proud of this season. So, um, I'm just, I'm just so happy, man. God is great to, for us to be able to have this, this opportunity. Um, and uh, I'm trying 1,800 more ways to explain this because this is, just, this is amazing. It just feels good to say, you know, we're the best team in the world with the best player in the world. This man sitting next to me, right? So it, uh, it's been a journey, and man, you know, it can't put into words. And I'm so proud of every man on this team, every man in this organization, and woman. And it's just been a collective effort, and we're going to enjoy it tonight, man. We deserve to. And last question over here on the right. Ann Kelly in San Francisco Chronicle. Steph, you had a moment with your dad on the court after the game. Um, your dad never won a championship. Can you just talk about how special that, that is to be able to share this with him? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling in that moment. Um, so I followed him in his footsteps. I've talked about how impactful he's been on my life. Um, just being an example on and off the court of what a true professional is and and uh, how he raised me and my, my brother and my sister. So to be able to have that moment was, was special. Um, he's, he's living, you know, through, through me and my teammates, this whole, this whole, my whole family through this whole journey. So um, I can't be more proud of, of him as a father um, and, a, and a role model example for me. And uh, I'm just, I'm hoping, hoping make, make him proud tonight. So I know Clay is probably going to, I don't know if you've had that moment yet or not. You probably did, but your dad was a champion before. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. It's, it's just special to have, you know, a, a guy that plays 60 years in the league, and you, you understand how hard it is to get to this point. And that makes it so much more special for me um, to, uh, to have this for my family. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Take it all will be next. Take it. Back outside here. You may think I'm crazy, and I guess you might be right, but the way I feel today is out of sight. That's a great lyric from a great James Taylor song, Golden Moments, and the Golden State Warriors have their